Ah yes, the frog stretch. Let's get all the Snickers out of the way. Yes, this does look very uh, suggestive to say the least. Here's the way I would do it if I was just on my own and I didn't really care what anybody was thinking of me. I would basically push my hips back and then I'd push my hips forward. As far as the form goes, my feet, I want to get them away from narrow underneath my hips. I want to think knees at 90 degrees. You'll feel that as you go back. This is going to make it quite a bit easier to push your hips back even further. I'm basically fighting my own rotation of the hips. And then as there, as I go forward, I'm basically pushing my hips down and forward, continue to open on the front side. If you wanted to look a little more decent in public, if you will, you could just prioritize doing 30 seconds of stretch here and then doing 30 seconds of stretch here. This would be totally fine. I tend to like doing the reps version of it because it's basically more of an active movement, a little more kind of like a pulse, if you will, more like some of our other movements where we're going up and down through range of motion. Basically, challenge the groin, challenge the hips, maintain your 90 degrees, and then you're gently pushing yourself forward and backward.